The National Film Board of Canada presents Animated Motion by Norman McLaren and Grant Munro. Part two of a series of films in which McLaren comments on, demonstrates, and classifies aspects of motion which the animator employs in his everyday work. In addition to tempo, there are five categories into which all motion falls. The first of these categories is constant motion. The one and only feature of constant motion is that the distance between each calibration is the same. For any one tempo, the animator's moves are identical. All the illustrations of tempo in part one of this series had equal calibrations and therefore constant motion. The second category is accelerating motion or acceleration. The one and only characteristic of acceleration is that each move is always bigger than the previous move. There are many degrees of acceleration. In this acceleration, each move is very much bigger than the previous move. A steep acceleration. Any particular acceleration may be classified as a percentage increase of the previous move. The first move. To get the second move, add 10% of the first move. To get the third move, add 10% of the second move. To get the fourth move, add 10% of the third. And so on. If 25% of the previous move is added each time, the acceleration will be steeper. If the increase is 50% of the previous move, we get an extremely steep acceleration. Such accelerations, if arranged systematically, form a spectrum ranging from gradual to steep. If the moves are shown stage by stage, the internal anatomy of different accelerations can be compared. Or, contrast a single acceleration and a constant motion, both going from A to B in the same number of frames. The third category is decelerating motion or deceleration. When the move between each frame is smaller than the preceding move, we have deceleration. Here is a steeper deceleration. Steeper still. There are other types of acceleration and deceleration. For example, where the moves get bigger or smaller by a single fixed amount and not by a proportion of the previous move. The result.
similarly for deceleration. Acceleration and deceleration, together with constant motion, can be arranged into one large spectrum, starting steep. Each deceleration is replaced by a deceleration less steep. The deceleration is now so slight that at the middle of the spectrum it becomes constant motion. The constant motion switches over into a gentle acceleration, which progressively turns into steeper and steeper accelerations. Without the use of these factors, the animator could not portray even such basic things as weight, heavy, light, a punch, a violent punch, A faster punch, a cautious touch, a cautious push, a thrust, gravity, a bounce. another form of gravity, perspective, where different tempos are needed to create the illusion of travel at a uniform speed. These factors are of prime importance in animation, no matter what technique is used. Part 2. End.